Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 29 of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind, and last time we got pretty much the best thing to get in any RPG, which is the ability to be free, I guess. Essentially, that's what this is. This is so awesome. And now I'm over my initial excitement of it, so I'm I'm getting under control now and starting to get a, an idea of what I actually have to do. Because now that now that I have access to this, I ha I just know that that's got to open up so many possibilities in this world. Because I can go so many places like that I couldn't before. And I'm not sure entirely where I'm gonna start, so I think I'm just gonna start going around and looking for places and see what's what around here. Okay. Uh, this is a place I've already been before. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to cut of this traveling. Probably just like stuff where it's just me being a bozo trying to find out where to go. I remember the dude said to head to, uh... What's the dude? King Truffle said to head out, I think, southwest to, um, the lofty mountains. This looks very mountainous around here. Uh, can I, like, dock here maybe? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is the place that I was at before. So is this the Lofty Mountains? This might be, actually. All I know is that this place is new, so I'm willing to explore it. I'm ready and willing. We're starting to get these pallet swaps of early enemies. Oh, you know what I actually have to do, too? Is uh, I can't forget this. I have to head back to Gaia's Naval. Because now it's actually easy to head back to Gaia's Naval. Well, relatively easy. Easier than it was before with the cannon travel and whatnot. But uh, I still remember someone told me that there was something there I have to pick up. That I could have picked up like a long time ago, but... Whatever. Man, these guys are not playing around, apparently. Jeez, he knocked Edge out for like f a full 10 seconds there. Holy cow. By the way, I, I should make mention of this like right now, Royal Jam. I'm not even sure what that does, to be, to be quite honest. I, I, it sounds like something that would restore MP to me, but hell if I know. But I should be, uh, I should say this right now is that, um, I wouldn't normally do this with this LP because it's blind and I want to get your guys' input as frequently as I can. Which is why I normally just like record one video of this at a time. I guess I can't do anything here. Oh, well, maybe I can head over here. Uh, I normally just record one video of this at a time and then like edit and upload it. What the hell? <laughs> it's a birdo. I thought it was like a burgo. Egatrice. Oh boy. Can't imagine what these guys are going to look like grown up. Probably get to see that eventually, I'd assume. Anyways, let me keep my freaking thought straight here. Okay. So, I'm going to be recording, I think, about four of these in a row tonight. Because, as many of you probably already know, I'm moving across the country to Waterloo um, in two days for university. And during that time, I, I'm going to want, like, a bunch of uh, uploads and stuff to be scheduled. So that, like, I don't have to worry about you guys being... Oh, that's not the whip. I'm trying to use the whip, dude. I don't have to worry about you guys being in a video drought for me for, like, uh, forever, basically. <laughs> for ten days, I think it, it'll be. So I'm recording a bunch of stuff now, and I'm going to edit and, like, schedule it all to go up with that schedule upload, which is, like, the best thing ever. I totally love that it's, like, available to everyone now. Or most everyone, anyways. Dude, look at this view. It's awesome. This reminds me of, like, the Rocky Mountains. Like, when you go to the top of the mountains, it's one of the most beautiful things you can ever see in your life. So great. Anyways, um, yeah, so for these next four episodes, any comments that you have won't really have an effect on the next episode, and uh, anything you say that you tell me to do, which I imagine will be a lot, because I'm probably going to miss a lot since there's just such, it's such an open world now. But, um, might as well just keep on the whip. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably understand what I'm saying. I don't really need to keep articulating it this stupidly, because you know what happens when I keep trying to articulate something and it just ends up being more confusing than it needs to be. Trap flower. Hmm. Why are my ears so hot right now? It's not even that hot outside. It's actually pretty cold outside, being that it's still summer and everything. I guess Mother Nature's just trying to make up for the extreme intensive heat that we've been having for the past, like, forever, like, a few months. Holy cow. Of course, that's been all, like, across the globe, so I can't really complain too much if it, happen if it happened to everyone. Dude, okay. Um, let's do this. I don't want to wait, like, the full... Well, this is probably just getting this, like, getting the herb and healing me up. I probably wasted about just as much time as I would have, if not more time, than I would have just by, like, waiting for it to go away on its own. Oh, well. Alright, let's see. Um, 
I'm gonna switch back to the sword. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the whip still anymore. Okay, level 35. 35, I'm feeling alive! Ooh, whatever. Oh, well, he died. <laughs> I was just, I was like ready to give up on him because he wasn't dying fast enough, and then he just does die. He's like, okay, okay, I'll do it. Just please don't leave. What the hell is that? Is that an enemy? Or is that, no, it's Jack. Go away, the sage is out. What? Sage Jock went to the Palace of Darkness. You saw it on the way here. I, d I did. Okay, so I guess I can't head this way. Are these more things that I can like smash with my axe? I wonder. No, they're not. Okay. Not those kind of slagmites. I get it. Well, I guess we, I guess we have no choice but to leave for now. So I saw it on the way up here. What are all these Egatrices doing up here now? My gosh. Well, you know what? I can just fly out of here, can't I? Probably. <laughs> That's the joy of having... It's like basically like... In, in, in addition to being this most epic way of transport ever, it's like an escape rope or a magic rope for the overworld, which is really cool. Alright, so I saw it on the way here. I did. Um, I'm not sure where that would be, though. The Palace of Darkness. Well, I'm just going to keep going around searching for it, I guess. Uh, if I saw it on the way here, would it be in the Lofty Mountains itself? Or maybe in that cave? Did I ever go in that cave? Oh, well, now I'm getting all sidetracked and lost. Okay, um... Where was that? It was, like, right over here. Okay. Uh, dude, whoa. Oh, man, it's funky to control when you're looking at it like this. Okay. Slow turn. And... Dock, dock, dock. Yes! Dive, dive, dive! Alright, so... Because I forgot that I never actually head, like, in this cave or on that other path over there or anything like that. Fierce head. <laughs> Reminds me of something at a troll too, or something. All right. Mm, oh, this this definitely looks like the Palace of Darkness to me. Oh my god. Like if anything's gonna be it, especially with, with these guys with purple hair. I don't get what that's. What's that? What's that? Like, <laughs> normally purple is like associated. It's like a more feminine or girly or whatever color. It's that's what that's what it's usually associated with. But, like, it's also associated with darkness, which is, like, the total antithesis of, like, beauty like that. Which makes me just wonder, like, how that even came to be in the first place. Alright, so it looks like this is, like, a, a choose-your-path type of thing. I can't head that way, but I can head this way. Not sure if this is the way I need to be headed, though. Man. Uh, I wonder why Sage Jock head here of all places. Why are we looking for Sage Jock again? I totally forgot. <laughs> I guess I just got so flustered by the flammy thing that I just like totally lost all sense of what the actual story... Well, not what the actual story, but what I'm actually like... The current event story is, I guess. Alright, these look like things I can destroy with my axe, definitely. Let's see. Set it up. Alright. Thank God I remember that. Tell you what. I'm just not even going to deal with these guys right now. These guys are a pain in the ass to me. I don't know what it is about these guys. There's something is off about those enemies. That's weird. Ooh. Well, it doesn't look like there's much of anything in here, but I might as well kill these guys. Don't want them scootily pooping while I'm around, while I'm out. I don't know. I mean, really, I'm kind of doing them a favor here. Like, it's, there's nothing to do in this room, so why are they even here in the first place? I don't know. So now I was just saved them like years of boredom, which is awesome. Cause no one needs no one deserves to be that bored for so many eons. Oh boy. Oh man, this is each of these palaces gets more and more labyrinthine. I can imagine what the last one's gonna be like. It's gonna be like freaking level nine in the Legend of Zelda. The original. I always have such, like, debates about myself with that, like, what, like when I'm talking about, like, an original of its kind, like, like the first game in the series or something, like Super Mario Bros. or The Legend of Zelda, like, do I have to say Zelda 1, or can I just say, like, The Legend of Zelda, because, like, The Legend of Zelda is the actual name of the game, so if I just say that and end it there, you should know what I'm talking about. If I'm, like, talking about a specific game instead of just the whole series as a in general, which is a really context-sensitive thing, I guess. 
But like, it seems like so much more, like everyone, everyone always says like Zelda 1 or the original Legend of Zelda or something, just because there's so many games now that people could like mistake it. But like, really, if you say like you're talking about like, oh, Legend of Zelda is a hard game. It's like not. It's like is someone gonna just be like, oh, what do you mean? Do you mean Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask or the Minish Cap or the Oracles or the, no? They're just gonna assume that you mean like the original or like the series as a whole. I guess I don't know. It's just something like do do, do we really assume that people are that stupid that they can't figure it out for themselves? That's something I'm always afraid of is that I like underestimate people's intelligence all the time. Which is really why a lot of my commentary is pretty redundant, I guess, is because I do I do underestimate people's intelligence. Mostly because people around in my real life always tell me that I'm so smart. And magical armor? Real magical armor? Did I see that right? I didn't know that things could drop armor. Well, I think someone did tell me about, about, about that way back when. Let's see. Is it actually like an equip here? Yeah, look at this. Oh my god! Holy, is that like a rare drop or something? I'm gonna totally wear that, I guess. Sweet. Let's hope to find more of those. Man, totally interrupted my thought process there. Of course, my thought process was probably going somewhere that I didn't want to end up being in like a whole big debate of something, so it's probably best that I just stopped where I did. I can probably switch back to the sword now, actually. I want to be sticking with traditional weapons here, you know? Just because that's how I am. Man, these torches aren't lit. This place would be so much nicer if the place was lit up, man. Maybe it wouldn't be so black all the time. Black and blue. Oh, I bet I'm gonna need the axe again right right now, aren't I? Because now I'm in a cavern. Dude! Oh my god, another room like this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> these look like tiaras on the ground, but they're actually like the backs of... Or the bottoms of pillars. Hmm. Is it like the... Oh, shoot, what... The diadem of Ravenclaw? I don't know. Diadem. <laughs> that word's just way too close to diaphragm. Diaphragm is like something totally different that doesn't have anything to do with it. The English language is so messed up. There's so many like words that are synonymous with each other that aren't even necessary. But it's cool because then you get to like impress people with your amazing vernacular, I guess. Alright, have I head this way yet? I'm not I don't even remember which ways I've been coming up and going down and well, damn it. <laughs> Dead ended. I think I don't think I've been through that. No, that that middle door is the first place I went, wasn't it? Like when I came in here the first time. Oh, shoot. I might actually have to think about this a little bit. <laughs> These guys are just getting in my way more than anything now. They're not even posing a huge threat. Maybe I I don't know if I'm over leveled or under leveled or at the exact right level for my position in the game right now. Apparently I've never been over here because this was here. Let's see. A thousand GP, alright. <laughs> well, I could take that as one of two signs. Either that I'm going the right way, or that someone's baiting me with money so that they think so that I think I'm going the right way. Either way, I don't have much of a choice but to keep heading this way, do I? Was it you, you stupid f head? Demon head? Demon spawn? Fierce head. <laughs> well, he is fierce. I mean, those, those teeth, see, you gotta be fierce when you got, like, canines like that. Dude, my canine teeth are, like, the sharpest... Th like, I look like a vampire, seriously. Like, when I feel those with my tongue, it just feels like genuine vampire teeth. It's, like, so weird. I don't know. It's like, I don't know, are they supposed to be like that? They're supposed to be that pointy and sharp? It's, like, scary to me. It's like, I feel like I'm gonna, like, slice my tongue open with them. Oh, well. Man, we're getting level, level ups all crazy up in here. Okay, this, this is a switch. Did I already press this or something? Uh, or did I press it just now and it opened up that, like, huge middle path down there? I think that's more likely than anything, actually. Alright, you guys. I don't need to be dealing with you right now, I don't think. Holy cow, there's so many entrances and exits here. This is the place I was at before, isn't it? Where, like, if I head in here, it's gonna be one of those stupid rooms with the two fierce heads. Yes, okay. Don't need to deal with that. I don't even know what the point of this little backwards cavern area is here. Maybe just for atmospheric purpose. Hell if I know. Maybe it's used to become more important or exaggerated later. Did I actually do something? Did I press something there and that activated anything? 
I have a feeling they activated something like in the fierce head rooms up here. Did you get out of my way? Did I like barrel roll out of the way there? That was weird. Well, there's nothing up here. I could have sworn that I actually that I um shoot that I hit a switch back there though. It looked like I did because it like froze for a second. I am. I feel like one of those switches that I hit did something, but. I'm not sure what. I really have no idea. Well, I hit a switch in this cave back here. This is the cave over here, isn't it? Yeah. I hit that switch over there. There's a whip thing here that I never noticed before. That probably has something to do with this, doesn't it? <laughs> I would imagine. I'll take any opportunity I get right now. Alright, come on, guys. Come on. Got places to go. There we go. And here's another switch. Okay, that opens that up. But how do I get over there now? Hmm, those guys are totally stuck in perpetual dance. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, and this is one of those dead end rooms. How did I not notice that, like, freaking whip thing there before? Okay, so now, if I head all the way back around. Oh boy, I've been, I've been getting so many, like, levels up, levels up, and, like, skill weapon level ups and stuff. I'm not even going to know how to keep track of them. It's going to be nuts. Okay, let me see. So over here, back here, if I can get there. This is the cave. This is the middle cave. Um, and I opened up a path over there. I, I remember that. So if I need, need the axe to get this ready. I feel like I'm making progress, finally. This place is kind of crazy, though. Alright, so if I head over this way... This is the path they opened up, right? It is, okay. Because I have not been here yet. But let's see what awaits me here. Could it be the end? <laughs> the end of everything? Dude, these guys are like playing like Pac-Man. They're trying to get away from me. Alright, I'm not dealing with you. I knew those guys were trouble. Okay. Uh, what the f- Okay. <laughs> That's something new. and It's an invisible bridge. How about that? Maybe it's just a super dark bridge that just blends in. Do love the blue fire though. Blue fire is like such a selling point for me on like visual aesthetic purposes. Like blue fire is just like one of the most beautiful things in any video game. No matter what, I tell you. I tell you, it's just so mystifying. More magical armor, oh my gosh. Maybe that's not as rare as I think it is. Let's get that equipped, I guess. Uh, let's give it that to Sydney actually. Edge can deal without it right now. Let's see. Magical armor. Hell yeah. Holy cow. That is pretty badass. Dude. Oh. I wonder if this is magical armor over here too. Wouldn't that be something? It would be so great if it was. Let me see. It is. It is magical armor. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not sure if I just got like really lucky here. Or if like this is... I can't have just gotten that lucky. This must not be that rare, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably making more of this. I don't know, because I just get, like, the idea of... Dude, why did I do that? Okay, I need to get Edge to equip that. That's right. But just, like, some of the only experience I really have with, like, RPGs where enemies drop armor and stuff is Mother 3 and, like, those... the Earthbound games. And there, when they really drop, it's, like, really rare stuff. So it makes me feel like this is rare, too, but I can't say anything for sure, I guess. Alright, nothing over here. Might as well kill this guy, even though now that I've got the fight started, though. Because I've got a fight in me! I'm a hot top volcano and I'm ready to blow! What do we got? More magical armor? No. Those guys wouldn't drop magical armor, they drop candy. Because that's so much more valuable. Alright. What the. What? Hi, shade. What? Are we in some kind of... This is like a freaky, scary lime slime? Uh-oh, it's lime time. Oh, it's the evil gate. Dude. What the f... I think I'm in some sort of... It feels like I'm in some sort of, like, back-ass where it's cosmic dimension of some sort. I don't know. Did Dementio get his hands on this place? Let's get some heal... Like, some cure water going, I guess. 
At least on Argon, he's the one who really needs it, actually. Okay. I can't tell what I'm- I think- I imagine I have to be hitting that thing in the middle. But, like, or do I just have to hit this big blob thing? I- can't, I don't know. I thought that was- I, it looked like I was- it looked- they're, like, standing in it. Ew! <laughs> Dude. Clean up your old mess, flubber. Oh my god. This is so cool. I, it's, it's like impossible to tell where I am. It's like dispel magic. Uh huh. Dark. F oh, that can't be good. In a palace of darkness, I imagine that dark magic is not a. It's a pretty big force to be reckoned with. All right, let's see if we can. Uh, I imagine that this guy's probably. If he's weak to anything, it's gonna be Lumina, probably. But let's get Edge working on his magic too. Uh, let's see, fireball. Jesus. Oh, something leveled up there. I think it was, yeah, Sydney's magic skill. Okay. Dude, don't do that. Alright, uh, am I gonna get the bio on this guy anytime soon? Okay, lots of HP, lots of MP. Uh, weak to anything? Give me something here. Fierce Salamando. Okay, so I actually did good when I did that fireball thing. It's kind of surprising. Oh, shoot, Sydney's almost dead. Why is her, like, face blue down there? Is that, like, a darkness thing? Probably. Alright, cure yourself, Sydney. Just do it. Do what you gotta do to keep alive, girl. I'm probably dead here. I didn't even realize I was low on HP, too. Uh, yeah, there I go. 134 overkill much? Son of a bitch. Alright. Mm, I know I got a couple of wishes around here. I don't know what this royal jam does, but I guess I'll save that for later. I still got this barrel here. That's funny. Okay. Do that. Jesus. Okay, Edge, I'm gonna need you to, um... Wait, shoot. I'm controlling Edge right now, actually. I don't know how that happened. How that came aboot. Jesus. Oh, uh, you know what? Even though I know it's not... It's not quite, like, bang for the buck. Like, I know I could get more damage out of this. I just want to use Exploder on him. I just want to see the massive damage count that I can get with this strong-ass spell. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't even that great. But, uh, I guess anything counts. Oh, he is getting smaller. That's cool. <laughs> they would always do that, wouldn't they? I love how he's changing. Oh, shoot. He's changing, like, colors here. It's it's cool. Like, it seems he's changing between, like, the three different primary colors of the light spectrum. I actually didn't know that for, like, the longest time. Like, uh, that the light spectrum and the color spectrum had different pr different primary colors. Because, like, the diff pri the normal primary colors that everyone knows are, like, red, blue, and yellow. Which are, like, Pikmin colors, which is, like, the way a lot of people remember it, apparently. I don't know. But the prim primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. Which is, like, RGB values, you know. Shoot, this, this guy's pretty tough. I better start paying attention to my HP and stuff instead of talking about light here. You know, no one cares about that crap, I tell you. Okay. Steal some more salamando dooziness. Oh my god. Dude, th th these things have some crazy spells. I have like, There's like so many spells in this game. It's crazy. And I don't even know if I'm going to ever get to learn half of them. Like there was the wall spell, evil gates, this curse of darkness, whatever it is. This whole place looks like it's been cursed with darkness. I can't even tell what the borders really are here. It feel it looks like they are like where these stalagmites are, but it goes like slightly beyond that too. All right, uh, let's uh before anyone gets too low on HP here, this is probably a good idea to just keep on periodically doing this. There we go. He's just about done, I would think. Man, I like this boss actually. This go this boss is like quirky. I don't know, this is just mystifying, though. Mm, oh. Oh, is something happening? It's, like, getting lighter here. Or is that just, like, the effect of the spell? Oh, there he goes. Ew. Oh, my God. He looks so volcanic and demented there. Oh, that was kind of disturbing <laughs> when he died. Jeez. Mm, man. This might be a long episode, or I might just, like, keep going and whatever. But uh, I feel like this is going to be the end of an episode, so thanks everyone for watching. This is Ariel Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.